right here we're making, and this is really quick. You've seen a picture of the vegetables, but right here we're sauteing in coconut oil, by the way, which is so much better for you. Olive oil is good too, but I do prefer coconut oil because of the taste as well as it being better for you as far as oils go. But here we're mixing a, um, we have green peppers, orange, red peppers, jalapeno peppers, broccoli, some butter beans, some bean sprouts, um, onion, spinach leaves, mushrooms. I mean, just a trough of just, I call it electric life. The more colors on your plate, the best, the better. Let me say that again. The more colors on your plate, the better. So when you just see just one color, that means you need to add some more color. Put some more reds and some yellows and oranges on your plate and greens on your plate. That means you're getting the maximum amount of nutrition when it's colorful. So we're going to add, you don't have to, you do have some hardcore vegetarians. I'm not one of them. And we're not promoting vegetarianism. We're just promoting healthy alternatives. Um, we're going to add some tilapia to this. You can add chicken. You can add tofu. You can add whatever, uh, salmon even. You can add whatever meat you want. Or you can just really eat it by itself, by, you know, just the vegetables. And once again, you hear some people say, oh, I can't afford it. If you buy all these vegetables and just put it together, this can last you and your family for a couple of days. So eating healthy is definitely affordable. You pay the big bill now or you pay the big bill later. Either way, you're going you're gonna to pay. So you just stir this a bit around a little bit. I think I'm going to add some more onions. The onions to this is delicious. Jay, you want to come and get a picture of this? We am going to get a closer look at it. It looks so good. I'm going to add a little bit more onion. And this is really something really easy and quick for the family and very healthy for the family. I have a 12 year old, my 12 year old neighbor is here. So we're gonna have her taste it. And we wanna see what a 12 year old says because you know their palate is not quite developed just yet. So we'll see what she thinks after she eats it. together and you keep the you want to keep the fire on kind of a medium to low or low to medium so that it doesn't cook fast and you don't want to cook it so much where you lose the vitamins and the enzymes from the from the vegetables so you want it to have it where it's not super soft just a light crunch at it so we can have some of it some um, some people can eat this raw I'm not there yet so this is what this is where we're at right now so this works for me at this time and my people and if I have children, when I have children, this is how we'll be eating. So we're going to um, put the tilapia on this plate here. And what you can do is, some people actually just put it in the vegetables, mix it in there and cook with that. But I'm not going to do that. I'm going to just let it sit until the vegetables are ready and just mix it in. And to even make the um, this dinner even more hearty, you can actually um, boil some red potatoes if you wanted something more hearty and something more filling um, if you have a larger family. And I think the red potatoes will just add to the heartiness of the meal. And you can save it for another night or two. But ladies who have husbands, you can put this in a container or Tupperware, and he can take this to work. No excuses. No McDonald's, no Subway, none of that. Because we need you around for a long time. So you got to stay healthy. So let's see. I need to add some more seasoning. Just a little bit of pepper. A lot of garlic. Some Obey. Everybody should have some of this right here. Obey seasoning. Catch that. Bam. Some garlic. Oh, 
Oh, yeah, you guys. And this is what really sets it off. Cilantro. We're going to add cilantro in here. And it really completely, these have already been cleaned, washed off. But when you add cilantro to this, add some lemon. A little, um, you could add lemon juice or you could squeeze an actual lemon or both. And it gives it an awesome, awesome taste. I, trust me. And I can't tell you how much cilantro. You just kind of have to go by how much you have in the pot. But even the smell. Oh, the smell of cilantro is amazing. Have you smelled cilantro, Laura? Mm -hmm. You know what it smells like? Yes. Good. Your mother grows that though, right? Yes. That's something like, see, her mother has a garden. I love it. That's my neighbor. I'm actually just starting a garden. I have some cayenne pepper and some tomatoes that have not quite popped up yet. It's been about maybe six weeks. So I'm hoping to see some fruits of my labor spring up sooner than later. Let's make sure we turn this up just a little bit more. But it looks good and it doesn't smell good, guys. We're excited. So if you're trying to get healthy and you want to start at some point, you're already in the right place, you're here. And this is a good place to start. These are some just really wonderful, healthy alternatives. You can really add whatever you like. But once again, I'll go over the ingredients in this. As it's cooking, I use butter beans. We use broccoli, we use these lovely orange peppers, green peppers, red peppers, um, we use tomatoes, we use um, bean sprouts, cilantro, some spinach leaves. Um, of course, we're cooking it in coconut oil, so that actually will add to the taste. And onions, and uh, I think that's about it. It doesn't take a long time, and you will feel good knowing that this is what your family is eating. So we'll let this stew a little bit more, and when we come back, you'll see the final result, okay? So this is the result, and I'll go over the ingredients again. We will have them listed at the end of the shoot, but we're going to we have, of course, tilapia as our choice of meat, but we have green peppers, red peppers, yellow peppers, jalapeno peppers, broccoli, mushroom, butter beans, cilantro, lemon. Um, I, of course, I cooked this with coconut oil, so that added some flavor. Um, and some spinach leaves, and I think that's it. So this is the result, and let me taste. Now, she's been sitting here <laughs> chomping down this whole time, so I think it must be pretty good. It's very good. It's good bread. Very good. Wow. So this is something, even in, as a college student, you can kind of mm -hmm. do this in your dorm room instead of like a bag of <laughs> chips. chips or the burgers. Ramen noodles. Oh, yeah. This is much more be better for you and feeling. So, ladies and gentlemen, once again, this, this is a loud, silence meal, and we thank you for joining us and being here. Try this with your families. Healthier alternatives. That's what it's all about. I'm Tori Alamaze, and I thank you. Mm. This is good.